All right, hey there everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a battle report. So in today's game, I think we're gonna be running this as kind of like a complete newbie's guide to Halo Flashpoint. This is Jamie, she'll be playing with us today. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you got any experience playing war games, Jamie? I think I've played Warhammer once. And how was that? Um, relatively challenging, yeah. but overall fine. All right. And how much experience do you have with Halo? Very little. I think we played the first few games. And what do you remember? What do you remember from Halo? Almost nothing. Come on, give us a give us a rundown. I don't remember. <laughs> you played how many games? The first three. Okay. Well, those are the best ones anyway. Yeah. But. Uh, maybe they, you're just blinded, blinded by their majesty. Yeah. Yeah, so a fever dream. Yeah. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, okay, okay. So this is Halo Flashpoint. This is a miniature skirmish war game by Mantic Games. So for you that know, this is the, uh, you know, just basic beginner guide version. So we're not going to be playing with all the rules today. And then my idea behind these videos is we're going to start with, you know, just the basic scenarios and then maybe work our way up. And then, you know, by the time we're finished, we'll have a full, you know, full knowledge of the game. So, you know, as we play, Jamie, let us know if you've got any questions. I'll be sure to answer it. I think I'll be giving, you know, this is kind of like how I'd run a dinner for regular people. Mm -hmm. If you hear any weird noises, noises, we do have an audience. We've got some cats out there. We've got some dogs out here. We've got, we've got a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on today. <laughs> that cat's very angry. He wants to come watch Halo. <laughs> But I'm not today. Meowing. What? You want to come inside? She's That's okay. okay. So I think I'll be red team today. In this scenario, red team goes first. With red team, I get a Spartan Zvezda and I get a Spartan Ruler. So that is the two red guys. You will have the Spartan Mark Seven, mm -hmm. and you have the Spartan Dead Eye. So the Mark Seven is the one with the machine gun. And the uh, dead eye is the one with the uh, rifle. So for reference, the one pointing, Mark Seven. The one knight pointing is the dead eye. Okay. So I have made this handy little printout that I get to people when I run a demo. So I'll just read through it now. Okay. So this thing says, in Halo Flashpoint. Halo Flashpoint is an exhilarating two-player skirmish game by Mantic Games, set in the expansive world of Halo. See your favorite video game franchise come to life in this fast-paced and easy-to-understand wargaming system. In Flashpoint, you take command of an elite team of Spartans with more factions yet to come as you relive the frantic, fast-paced action of the Halo multiplayer sandbox. Discover an exhilarating game that's very easy to learn, challenging the master, and rewards cool thinking under fire. Prepare for the ultimate tactical tabletop experience and lead your fire teams to victory on the battlefield. Welcome! The Halo Flashpoint. So Halo Flashpoint is played on a 24 inch by 24 inch field divided by 3 inch grids. So 3 inch by 3 inch cubes. So if you look in the board right now, mm -hmm. you can see the board set out into cubes. Mm -hmm. And then all the terrain is generally designed in that system. So all the cubes, like all the buildings are going to be 3 inches tall by 3 inches wide. So this is 1, 2, because it's twice as wide. Yeah. Then it's 1 tall. So this is double sided, so I'll flip it over. So this on the back kind of goes through the core concepts of the game. So the first thing in this game are command dice. So man, command dice have several different sides. These represent dynamic actions you can take depending on what kind of dice you get. So I'll explain to you what they do if you want to pick up your two. So mm -hmm. we will start with two each. Yeah. Alright, so the Spartan helmet is a plus one model dice. So basically the plus one model dice will allow you to activate two models in a row. So usually in this game it will be red goes, blue goes, so you know, you'll go, then I'll go. Mm -hmm. But with this, uh, you know, dice, you can skip my next turn by allowing yourself to go twice. Okay. So there's, there's a few rigid restrictions to this usually. In, in the full game, but right now we just say if you want to activate it, you can activate two in a row. And in addition to that, this will usually allow you to steal first turn. So if your opponent's going to go first, you can spend that dice to steal first turn and then you'll get to go first. 
So basically what you do is you'll skip your opponent's next turn if you spend that dice. Okay. So, yep. And then the next symbol is a double swords. So this symbol is assault. So that will mean when you get into a melee, so usually what happens in this game, you have a Spartan, and then you'll have a Spartan. Now if this Spartan charges into the same square, that will initiate a melee. So what will happen is they'll fight each other, and you know, whatever will happen will happen. But if, for whatever reason, they don't die, you can spend that symbol, and you'll be able to fight again. Oh yeah. Yeah, let the dog in because it's gonna bark. Come on. Right. Next symbol is the, you know, Cortana chip, Spartan chip, AI chip, whatever it is. This one? Correct. So this symbol is the special order symbol. So each faction has a different special order in this game. So for Spartan, it's called Spartan Snapshot. So in this scenario where I just explained where the Spartan will charge into the square with the other Spartan, basically you can spend that symbol and you can shoot as you get charged, as a reaction shot. So usually what happens is they'll, they'll just fight melee, but when you spend that symbol, you can shoot him before that melee happens to potentially kill him or knock him down or do something. Okay. So next symbol is the plus one dice symbol. So this game has these dice, D8 dice. Mm -hmm. um, so anytime you roll these D8 dice, you'll get a certain result. But with that symbol, you can add plus one dice to whatever you're rolling. So you usually start on a three and then you get benefits. With that symbol, you can add one more dice by spending the dice. Yeah. Next up is the arrow. So that one is plus one movement or advance. So basically that one will allow a Spartan to move one more square. So if they couldn't move for whatever reason, or they're stuck with that symbol, you can move one more square. Mm -hmm. You can just do that as a free action. Okay. And then, last symbol is the kind of explosion looking symbol. So that one is a shoot dice. So in that same scenario, if this guy couldn't shoot, you can spend that symbol, mm -hmm. spend it, it's gone, then he can shoot it anyway. So what you could do is you could shoot someone, spend this, shoot someone else. So you could shoot this guy, then you could shoot this guy, and he's going to be happy, chappy. Yeah, so that's what the command dice do. Any questions about the command dice? No, but I think I'll need a refresher. Absolutely. As we go. That's fine. I'll explain as you go, and I'll give you some tips about what you could do with them. I appreciate that. So in this game, we're on the movement. So movement in this game is pretty simple. So like I said, it is a cube-based system with a bunch of squares and things. So when, you know, this guy wants to move, you just count cubes. So he's, usually everyone's got a movement at two, which is explained on their data cards. So he can move one, two, or one, two, and going up one level is still just one. So if it's one level higher, you can still just climb up, no problem. And you can move diagonally, straight line, however you want to move. So it's just move whatever your movement is. Yeah. Um, shooting in line of sight in the same way, in this game, for shooting, on the data cards, each weapon's got a range stat. Mm -hmm. So when you want to shoot, you just count squares. So one, two, you can shoot. Or, you know, one, two, three, you can shoot. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, it's a bit more complicated with a uh, diagonal like this. So in this scenario, you know, you, you can't count straight cubes because he's diagonally away. Mm -hmm. But all you do is just count one, two, three, or one, two. So he's one, two, three this way. Yeah. And he's one this way. Yeah. You just take whatever high number is highest in that case. Oh, okay. So if you can't draw a straight, easy line, you just count each way and then take the highest number. Yeah. And then that's your range. Uh, same way in this game, you've got line of sight. So you have to actually be able to see things to shoot. Mm -hmm. And this game is really easy because you just literally have to get down. You see what the model can see. And if you can see, you can shoot. It's a bit hard for me to do it now, but you know, if he's behind that corner, he can't see that red guy. If he's peeking out a little bit, he can see the red guy. If he's fully out there, he can see the red guy, but then the red guy can see him fully. So you just get down, it's called a model eyes view. So you just get down and look, and then you can shoot. Um, so next up, we will go through the actions you can take in a round. 
So this game has two different types of actions. You got long actions and you got short actions. So for any model, a model can take one long action or they can take two short actions. If you take a short action, you can't then take a long action because long action is long. So you need a full activation to do it. There is several different types of both. I'll go through long actions first because there's only two types of long action. So on the model cards, like I said, they got a movement two or the movement three. The move, the big number, is a long action. So if he wanted to go one, two, three, that would be his long action move, being a sprint, so he can't then do anything else. Okay. If he wants to go a short action, then it's just one, two. So that's always on the card. So, the num so basically the small number is the small move, the big number is the long move. The other type of long action is in a scenario where this guy charged this guy, for that, that's a free action when he charges and fights. If you want to continue fighting in an ongoing melee, that is a long action to continue the melee. Okay. So, say they fight, they don't die, next turn he's still in fighting him because he hasn't moved. It's then a long action to continue fighting. Right. Okay? And then we're on to short actions. So short actions, there's several different types. Like I said, First one is advanced, so that's just moving your small number. So one, two, that's your short advanced action. Mm -hmm. Next one is standing up. So for whatever reason, if you get knocked down, because you got blown up or fall off something or something happens to you, to stand back up costs an action. Oh, yeah. Then next up is shooting. So if he just wants to shoot, that's just a short action to shoot. Except sometimes when it's not, Sometimes you have something like a sniper rifle, which will say long, so you'll need a long action to shoot it. Okay. Um, auxiliary actions, so auxiliary actions are contextual based, so they'll change based on what's happening in the game. So they might be things like picking up flags or capturing objectives, pressing buttons. They'll usually change, but they're always a short action to do an auxiliary action. Okay. Last one is a crouch action. A crouch action. So for whatever reason, a model wants to have a spare action, they can crouch down and get plus one shoot dice and plus one sh dice against shooting. So like I said, when you shoot, you usually start on three and then get benefits. Crouching is a benefit, so you get one more dice. Okay. But if he gets shot at as he's crouched, he gets three dice to save, but he gets plus one because he's crouched down hiding. Yeah. So that is your short actions and your long actions. Have you got any questions about them? No, not right now. Have you got any questions so far? Not right now. Okay. So next up is shooting and terrain. So I'll go through the um, benefits you do get for shooting. So in this game, you can get benefits in your shoot dice. So all the dice rolls in this game start on three dice. So you always start on three. Then for being completely clear. So if he shoots him, is there anything in the way? No. No. So that is a clear shot. Yes. So for your dice, you get plus two dice because it's a clear shot. If anything at all is in the way, it's not a clear shot. Yeah. So in this game, it's always assumed you have cover until you don't have cover. Okay. If you don't have cover, then it's a clear shot, and that's a benefit for your pen, but no benefit for you. So like I said, the game assumes you have cover until you don't have cover, which is then a clear shot. So the next benefit you can get is being higher up than your opponent. So if a model's higher than the one they're shooting at, they get plus one dice. So now he's on. So if he's a clear shot and higher, if you keep track, that is six dice so far. Um, shooting into a square with a friend is called friendly fire. That's minus two dice because you might shoot your friend. So it's called friendly fire. So if you're shooting into a square where your friend's already there, it's minus two dice because it's friendly fire. So those are the basic benefits for shooting, including the crouch action, like I said. Then next up is the melee and assault benefits. So like I said, when you charge, you start on three, you get plus two dice for charging, because you're the one fighting. Like you're the one with the initiative fighting. Mm -hmm. um, if this model was hurt, you get plus one more dice, because he's hurt. If this model was pinned when you started fighting, you get plus one more dice because it's pinned. If this model, um, if you have a friend, 
you also get one more dice for fighting. So this model can go up to like a bunch of dice for fighting if he's got a friend and all his other benefits. Yeah. Uh, those are the basic benefits for fighting and melee. Any questions about that and how the D8 system works? No. Next up, we are on to model stats. So I'll go to the unit card for this one. So I'll just go through the Mark 7 this time. So the Mark 7, so his name's Mark 7. He has energy shield 2. So if you look at these energy shield counters. So if you were to take damage, they go into your energy shield first. When they do, they just flip over. That's your energy shield gone. Um, tactician is this model's specific keyword. We're not going to use tactician today, so we don't have to worry about it. So then we're on to the basic stats. So speed, SP. So that, like I said, the first number is your short move. The big number is your long move. Mm -hmm. Then on to ranged, 4 plus. So when you want to shoot someone, you need to beat your range test. So when you roll your dice, you need to get anything higher than a 4. So on those dice I just rolled, I only got one dice higher than a 4. So I got two fails, one success. Um, for fight set, same thing. So 4 plus for this guy, so I roll the dice. I got two 7s and one 1. So that is two successes and one fail on a fight test. Um, next up is saving, so if I never need to save because I'm going to take damage, I roll my dice, I need a 5 plus. So I got an 8, a 5, and a 4. So I got two successes. I did get an 8, that is what's called a headshot. So if you ever get an 8, you then immediately get to add one more dice to your dice pool and roll it. So I got a 3, so that one failed. But if I got another 8, I could then need to find 8 dice, there you go. So if I got another 8, I can then add another dice. And that can keep going. That's called, a, you know, a dice train. Yeah, okay. Um, that can be really powerful for the ability I'm going to talk about later. Mm -hmm. Next up for the stats is armor, two. So say you do your rolls, you do your rolls, you know, you got one save, I got three successes, I take one out, good for your save. So I've got two successes, you've got no shields for whatever reason. So now on to armor. So you've got two successes, I've got two armor. You haven't got something called armor piercing, which would reduce my armor, which means I have to take two dice out of my pool for your armor, because your armor reduces incoming damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you did have armor piercing, then you pierce the armor by what your value is. So if you had armor piercing two, I have armor two, they go to zero, I have no armor. But if you have armor piercing one, then I have one armor. So that doesn't, that's not an ongoing effect, it's just temporary. Final stat is HP, and for all the models here today, are uh, HP 4, which means you can take 4 wounds before you die. Uh, you know, that would be tracked with rune tokens. Then we're on to the weapon stats. So everyone's got a basic weapon. So the Spartan Mark 7 has got a knife, and he's got an assault rifle. Everyone today has the same knife. So knife has a range of CC, which is close combat, so it can only use it in melee. He's then got armor piercing two. So like I said, for armor, if you use a knife, you got no armor because everyone's got armor two. You've got armor piercing two with your knife. It has got a keyword called ESD one. So when I talked about the shields, ESD is energy shield disruptor. So when you assign your dice to your shields, the disruptor will turn off a shield before you do anything else. So it's a way of disrupting shields before any damage is done to them. So without energy shield disruptor, you have three dice, you're going to assign two dice to the shields, and then they're gone. So you only have one success left. But with energy shield disruptor, because you've got to disrupt the one, you turn one off first, and then you assign one. So then you've got no shields. And then I've still got two successes in that case. Do you understand that? Not really. Or well, what don't you understand? All of it. Can you be more clear? Not really. Okay. So, two shields, energy shield disrupt the one. That will turn off a shield regardless of what else is happening. Okay. So, disrupt the one, turns off one shield. And is that bad for you? That's bad for me because then I've got six dice coming in as damage, right? If I had two shields, I turn off two shields and I reduce my damage by four dice. If I've got six dice, Two shields, disrupt the one, turns off a shield. I then take one dice out, so now I'm going to take five damage instead of four damage. Okay, and your shields are broken. 
Yes, until the next round. So shields will regenerate once a round, which I'll go through when we get to that. Okay. So, any more questions about energy shield disruptor? I think I'll just have to play. Perfect. And then we're on to assault rifle. So this is this model's basic ranged weapon. So it's got a range of four. So like I said, you'll count. One, two, three, four squares. It's got no AP, so it won't do anything to your armor. And then it's got keywords, rapid fire and weight of fire too. So I'll go through them as we use them. Okay. So that's all the basic cat stats and keywords. Have you got any questions about anything I've explained so far? No. No? No. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, so on the battlefield, we've got the basic layout, but I have added a change, which are these weapons. So I've added an energy sword, mm -hmm. and I've added an assault rifle. Okay. So when you move into the square, you can pick that up for free, and you can put it on your spun, and then instead of using your normal weapon, you can use that weapon instead. Yep. So that weapon might be better than your normal weapon. Cool. So when you shoot or do whatever you want to do, you can decide which one you're going to use. Okay. And like I said, moving the square, that's a free action to pick it up, so it doesn't cost anything to do it. Okay. Right? Yep. So in this scenario, the red team goes first. Right? And we'll get to it. All right, so we are back. So the first thing at the start of the round is you roll your command dice. So you get your two command dice. So for this game, we're going to be nice and easy. So blue team's going to be in the purple tray, because it's closer to blue. Mm -hmm. Red team's going to be in the red tray, because that is definitely closer to red. So roll your command dice, and it'll be your actions this turn. So you have an extra shoot and an extra dice. I've got an extra assault, and I've got an initiative dice. So basically in this scenario, these dice are worthless to me. I'm just going to leave my... let's say here. Then you can... Leave yours here. So as you spend them, we'll just take them away. Okay. Like I said, red team goes first, so I will go first. So I have, like I said, got a Zvezda, and I've got a Brawler. The Zvezda does have Scout. So Scout says before first turn, I can move as an advanced move one square. So I'm going to move my one square. And now it's my first turn, because that was a pre-game move. So I will continue to move my Zvezda. He will move his... Uh, he'll move a normal move, so he'll go one more square, which wasn't here. He will take the sword. So that's my sword now. And I get the associated weapon card, which I'll put right here beside it. Mm -hmm. Then I will take a crouch action. So that will give me a crouch token, and I'll put it on my man. So that means he's crouched down, he gets plus one against shooting and all that good stuff. And that is now your turn. So who will you move first? You got your Mark 7 and you got your Dead Army. Um, I think I'll just go for the... Go for the Battle Rifle? So, I'll move him. so your Mark 7 has got a movement 2 or a movement 3. How many squares do you want to move? You count them? Two. Right, so you can just do it as a normal move. Yeah. And now because you've moved into the square, you can pick that up as a free action and put on your spun and you get the associated weapon card. Yeah. So you could now shoot if you wanted to. So I think the first thing you've got to do is you've got to try to draw, draw line of sight to either this model or this model. Okay. When you position your model in the cube, you can position them wherever you'd like. So if you did want to shoot this model, it might be better to kind of put him more like that. Okay. And then it's a bit clearer that he can see my model. Okay. So is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Right. So you've got a assault rifle or you've got a battle rifle. Which do you want to use? Which is stronger. So the assault rifle has a rapid fire and weight of fire 2. Rapid fire is, instead of shooting me for damage, you can shoot me to try to pin me. When you shoot me to try to pin me, you'll gain one extra dice, and you will take off a shield if you succeed, but you're not going to do any damage. But I will be pinned, which means I can't then take a long action on my turn. So that's something to do if you think I might try to charge you, because then I have to try to stand up 
and I have to like maybe move one, two, three or something. Mm -hmm. Or as a reaction shot, when I charge you, you could rapid fire. Mm -hmm. And then if you pin me before I can melee you, I can't melee you. Yeah, okay. So that's something you, you do if you don't think you can kill me, but you want to slow me down. Okay. Way, uh, way to fire two is when you roll your dice, you can re-roll any two dice if you fail. So okay. that is your assault rifle. Yeah. You could then either also use the battle rifle. Uh, battle rifle has a range of five, so if you count one, two, three, four. So I'm in range for both weapons. Mm -hmm. It's got a range of five, and it's got AP1. So AP1 is, like I said, it's going to reduce my armor by one. So it's going to be more likely to do damage. It also has optics. So optics in this game is a very strong keyword. So when you roll your dice, like I said, you start on three dice for everything. Mm -hmm. When you have optics, you immediately get to add one extra dice, which is great. Because now you just get four dice for nothing. Yeah. Then when you roll those dice, remember how I explained eights are exploding? Yeah. If you get an eight or a seven, now that's also a headshot. So you're doubling your chances of getting a headshot. Okay. So optics is great. It also has way to fire one, which means you can reroll one miss. Okay. So got to you. Like I said, battle rifle is much better than the assault rifle. Which are you gonna use? Yeah, I'll use the battle rifle. Battle rifle. All right. So I get three dice to save. I'm gonna be using white dice. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be using the black dice. We'll put them in the tray as we go through them. So you start on three dice. Does you always start on three dice? But just put them in the tray. Oh. So you start on three dice. Yep. Then you work out what benefits you have. So you have optics. Yep. So you get one more. Are you higher than me? No. No. So you don't get that. Have you got a clear shot? Um, As in, is there anything between us? Yes. Yes. So you have not got a clear shot. Okay. Because I have cover between us. Yep. Um, no friendly fire, nothing else. So you basically get four dice. I have taken the crouch action. Mm -hmm. So I get... Plus one dice in my dice pool. Yep. Alright, so what's your shoot stat? So it's the range stat you want to use when shooting. So it's on your data card. Oh, is it SB? It is ranged. Yeah. Four plus. So when you roll your dice, you want four plus. Oh, okay. Four and higher. Okay. When I roll my save for my Zvezda, I want four plus. So we both want fours. Anything less than a four is a miss. Okay. Anything higher is a success. So remember, you've got re-rolls and exploding sevens and eights. So roll your dice, and we'll see what happens. You could also now spend your plus one dice to add one more dice. Yeah, should I? I, think uh, I should. Sure. So spend that dice, take it out. So we'll just take this away. And you can now one more, roll one more dice. So you're now on five dice. Yep. I'm still on four. Okay. All right, so roll the dice. I got two fours and one and a three. So I have two fails. What did you get? I have three fails because I got a five and a seven. But you have a way to fire one. So you can reroll one of them. Okay. What did you get? One. Okay, so that's a fail. Take it out. But you have a seven. That's exploding, which means you can now add one dice to your dice pool. So roll one more dice into your dice pool. Six. So now you've got three successes. So now we move on to save versus attack. So you've got three successes mm -hmm. on your attack. Mm -hmm. I have two successes on my save. Mm -hmm. I take out two successes, and you take out two successes, and that's how many you've got left. Yep. So you've got one attack left to assign to my model. Mm -hmm. That's called a hit. So you've hit me once. Yeah. I have got two shields. So before anything else, I take off a shield. You take off a dice. So take that dice out of the tray. Have you got any dice left? No. That's the end of the attack. Oh, okay. So you've taken off a shield so far. Now, remember what I said? You have got a shoot dice. Mm -hmm. So you could spend that dice right now to shoot me again. Even though you've used an action to move and an action to shoot, you can now use that shoot dice to shoot me again as a free action. Okay. Right, so spend the dice, take it away. Put it away. Yep, that's fine. Put it out. Right, so now we do it again. So I get three dice, and I get... One more dice for being crouched. Remember what your benefits are? Optics. So you get three dice plus? One. Plus one, right? So you're still shooting on what number? Four. Four plus, and I'm on four plus. I've got two successes. You have got three successes. You've got way of fire, so you can reroll the miss. 
You got three successes, four successes, and you've got a seven, a seven, and an eight. Mm -hmm. So you've got three exploding dice, so you can now add three more dice to your dice pool. All right, you got two more successes, and you got one more seven. You can now add one more dice to your dice pool. So you're on a train now. You got to fail. So you can take that one out now. All right, I'll take my successes out. So I've got two saves versus how many attacks? Um, seven. All right, so I'll take out two saves. Mm -hmm. You take out two su uh, successes. How many you got left? Five. All right, now I'll move on the shields. I've got one shield left. So I've got no shields left. You take out one more success. Now we're on to armor. I've got two armor. Have you got armor piercing? Um, on your battle rifle. One. All right, so I've got two armor. Reduced to one armor. So my armor is going to reduce your attacks by one. So take one dice out of your dice pool. How many are left? Three. Right. So you've got three attacks left to assign to my health or my HP. So I'll take three hits and I've already got one left. So he can take up to four, as he's indicated by HP. Oh, yeah. So he's one away from dying. Okay. So you've now used everything. You can't really do anything else with your model. So that's the end of your activation. Okay. So now you just put a little activation token on you guys. Just to show he's used. And then once you get to the end of the... Once you've got no one else to activate, and I've got no one else to activate, that's the end of the round, and we'll move on to the next round. Okay. When we're going to move on to the next round, all the models that lose their activation tokens, and any models that's lost a shield can add one shield back to the pool. Okay. All right? Okay. So that's the end of your turn. Okay. So it's now my activation, because you fully activated. So I've got a brawler over here. He has got a knife like everyone else, but he's got a fight stat 3+, plus, which means he'll fight on threes. Okay. You are within one, so I can go one here, diagonally two here, mm -hmm. three here. That will be an advanced uh, sprint move, so it'll be a long action to do it, but because when I charge, I get to fight for free, I can then fight you. Oh yeah, okay. So I'll go one, two, three, and I'm going to assault your Mark 7. So now you'll do your save against my attack. Right? Yep. So ready? Yep. All right, so you get three dice to save with. I get three dice to attack with. So put them in the dice tray for now. Then I get plus two dice because I'm the one that's charging. Yep. I've got no other benefits. So I fight on threes. What's your save stat? By SV. Five. Five plus. So I'm on three plus, you on five plus. I still explode on eights, but not on sevens. Okay. So let's roll them. I've got um, four successes. How many successes did you get? None. All right. You have got no ability to reroll, so you take them all out. I'm going to take my one miss out, but I have got an eight, so I can add one more in. I got a five. So I got five versus your zero. Yep. All right. So now we move on to assigning those attack dice to your shields. So your Mark 7 has two shields. I have five attacks. Yeah. So I have got ESD 1. So before we do anything else, you lose one shield. Oh, okay. All right, so now how many shields do you have? Just one. All right, so I take one dice out of my dice pool, and you take one shield off. All right, so now we move on to armor and armor piercing. Like I said, all knives have armor piercing 2. So AP 2 versus armor 2, you have zero armor. Mm -hmm. So I'm like knowing your armor. Mm -hmm. So then we just go into assigning four dice to your HP. Yeah. What's your HP? Four. So that model is dead. Dead. Okay. So he's gone. Mm -hmm. Maybe take him off the board. Yep. I'll just leave him here. Yep. Because I killed you in melee, I can now steal your weapon. Mm -hmm. So what usually happens if a model dies is the weapon's gone forever. Because I killed you in melee, I can steal it. So I'm going to steal your weapon. And now I've got a battle rifle. Okay. I can't do anything else because I have a long action, so that's the end of my turn. Okay. So it's now your last guy, your Mark 7. Okay. And I will put an activation token on both my people because they're both gone. So you got a Mark 7, uh, yeah, uh, this guy. the Dead Eye, yep. So if you look at his weapon, he has got an inbuilt optics, mm -hmm. so his gun's going to be pretty good. He has got AP, he has got lethal 1, which means any damage he deals, he'll deal 1 extra damage. I know. So you have got the potential to climb up here, mm -hmm. shoot this uh, brawler, 
Okay. Because you'll be up here, you'll be plus one for high ground. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be plus two for clear shot because you're shooting straight down. There's not going to be anything in the way between us. Mm -hmm. And you'll get plus one for optics, plus three for your base. So you'll be on seven dice to shoot that mark seven. Your dead eye is your sniper. So he is shooting on threes. So he's a really good shot. So that's one option you could do with your marks, uh, your dead eye. That sounds like a good idea. Well, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Right, so move your model. So you that's a short action to move, and then declare your shot. Who are you shooting? That one. Right? So first thing to do is you put the dice in the dice tray to show your benefits. So I get three base to save. You get three base to shoot. And you've got what benefits? Um, I'm higher. High ground, plus one dice. What else? Do I have optics? You have optics built in, so plus one dice. What other benefit? I can't remember. Clear shot. Oh, clear shot. Because there's not going to be really anything between us, really. Okay. So you get plus two dice for clear shot. Then what's your shoot stat? Um, so it's the range test, RA. Three. So you shoot on three high up. And because you've got optics, you explode on sevens and eights, or headshot on sevens and eights. Okay. So, roll the dice. I'm saving on fives with my brawler. So I've got two fails, one success, but I have got an eight, so I can add one more dice. So i got two successes. Okay. You have got one eight and two misses, so take your misses out. But because you've got an eight, you can add one more in. So you've got how many? Six. Six successes versus my two successes. Mm -hmm. So I take two saves out, and you take f two attacks out. How many you got left? Four. Right, and then we move on to shields. You haven't got ESD with your DMR, so I lose two shields, and you lose two dice. Then we move on to armor. Have you got armor piercing? No. So I've got full armor. So I've got two armor. How many attacks do you have left? None. So you've got two attacks left against yeah. my true armor, yeah. which reduces it to zero, so you've got zero attacks left. Yeah. So take them out, and I take no damage, but I've lost all my shields. You haven't got any command dice left, so you can't really do anything else, so just put an activation marker on that man, your dead eye, and that's done. I'm fully gone, you've fully gone, which means that's the end of round one. We now move on to round two. Right? Yeah. Because I've got no models left, and you've got no models left. Okay, yep. So take all the activation tokens off on models that are left, left alive. So I've got both my models still. Anyone that's lost a shield can gain one shield back. So both my models go back to full shields. And then you haven't lost any shields, so nothing happens. Because you went last, I get to go first. Or you could use your command dice to steal first turn. So remember to start around, you roll command dice. So we'll recommend dice and we'll see what happens. I've got an assault and I've got an advance. You've got uh, advance and a free shoot. Okay. So put them here so you show you got them. Now because I'm going first, I'll go first. So with my Zvezda, he's got a sword. He's pretty good, but he's not overly good at melee. He melees on fives, but he has got a sword. So you can go one, two, three and fight this guy. Mm -hmm. Or I could use my brawler and just do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think I will use my brawler to go something a bit tricky. I'll go one, two, I believe. And then I am going to... I just, I, actually, I, I was going to do something tricky. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to fight. I don't think you can get my through my knife. So we'll go through attack. I get three dice. Mm -hmm. And how many dice do you get? Three. Three to save with. Mm -hmm. I get two more dice for charging. Have you got any benefits? You do not, because you're just a regular guy. Yep. So what's your save stat on your dead eye? Five. So you save on five. I'm meleeing on threes. So we'll see what happens. So I have got two eights, a four, and a one, so that's one miss. How many successes did you get? Three. Right? 
I've got two eights, so I can add two more. So I've got two, four, six against your three. So I take three out, and you take three out. Then we assign damage to shields. I have got ESD one, so you immediately lose one shield. And then you've got one shield left, so I take one dice out. And you take your shield off. Then we're on to armor. I've got armor piercing two. You've got two armor. Mm -hmm. So you've got zero armor. Yeah. So I take two dice and assign it to your HP. So you take two damage. Okay. So put a damage token on there. And that is the end of my... Well, actually, I've got an assault dice. So assault dice says... I can assault you again for free. Oh, yeah. So now we can melee again. Okay. So I get three dice, and I get plus one dice because you are hurt. I haven't charged to start this melee, so I don't get the charge bonus. Okay. But I get one because you're hurt. And then we just fight again. I fight on threes. What do you save on? Five. Three plus. Uh, I got four successes. What do you get? No successes. All right, so take all yours out. You haven't got any shields left, which means your model hasn't got shields. I don't take anything out. You've got two armor. I've got armor piercing two, so I take no dice out. So I then I just assign four damage straight to your health. You take four damage, yeah, and you die. I'm dead. And red team wins the day. Good work, red team. All right. So that's like I said, pretty easy game, pretty quick. Uh, have you got any questions about what we went through with in regards to the game? Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. What did you uh, like about it? The straightforwardness. Yeah? You weren't really confused as we went through and played the game? No, not really. You understood all the systems pretty well? I think so. Is there anything you'd like to add? No. Good game. Good game? All right. Cheer up. Cheer up. So in a full game, what would happen is if a model died, it could then come in next round from free assigned respawn points. Um, full game, there's much more weapons to get. In a full game, there's different scenarios. So this one's just kill a guy, he's dead. Yeah. In different game modes, there's different things to do. So you got catch the flag, you got oddball, you got all kinds of different things. So do you think you'd be interested in maybe playing another one? Yeah, we can play again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for playing today. Thank you for playing with me. And for you watching along, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about how the game went, let me know. If you've got anything you think I got wrong, or maybe Jamie got wrong. I don't think Jamie got anything wrong, because I'm the one leading her. <laughs> but if you do think, let me know. Well, and, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. And what about Bailey? What, what do you think happened? You think it was a good game? Yes, it's pretty good. No, she's not going to do it. You know, she's shy. She's shy on the camera. She's shy. She's shy. She said, I wish the blue team won. <laughs> I wish the blue team did. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>